Welcome back. Oh good, the little flashing thing's gone. I still have no idea what that was about. That is a cool looking sword. But not for that price. Jeez. There's some pretty uh, pricey things. Oh, I got three emails. Okay, well, we'll check those first. So I went ahead and looked online, and apparently, um, I the last time I played was the end of Legacy of the Sith. So this new one, Digging Deeper, is like a follow-up to it? Arn. You know, like middle guys right there, face face and nothing. Locked up torch. Oh, I said Arn, it's Aaron. Mm, good. It's so like Aaron's not really feeling the hatred she had for Malgus and she's kinda letting go. That's always good. You know, she's not really a Jedi anymore. It's always good not to have that hatred. See more people to Alam. Which, on the title card, I put unknown. Or I might either put unknown or... Um, Darth Knoll's planner or something like that. I think I put unknown. It's Alam. Elam. Which I didn't realize until I was watching back the video. I'm like, oh wait, it mentions the name of the planet. And here's that. Just see people trying to hurt anyone. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, Tal, that happens. We lose people in this, like, war with nonsensical stuff. I mean, she's, what, uh, Vitiate destroyed the whole planet, just sucked her up his life form. Then it was Tenebrae also, just... Yeah, anyway... Master Southern, that's quite a surprise. Well, I... So close to gaining what he won is concerning. Oh, something I also forgot to uh, speak about it. Okay, I forgot. There's nothing to claim. Um, to mention was that the last, at the credit, in credit scene, or the in, last cinematic, basically, where it shows, you know, Malgus is um, locked up, and he's like, no, I've started, blah, blah, blah. And you see, it looks like a Jedi pick up a holocron. There's actually a cinematic for that online on YouTube. Uh, it's a short cinematic on, that announced Legacy of the Sith expansion. And that person is in that cinematic. Which honestly kind of surprises me that they didn't show it. Because they showed like all the other cinematics for, you know, all the other, for most of the other expansions. They didn't show that one. So, anyway, moving on. Let's, I'm gonna get into digging deeper here. Kira, are you all right? Honestly, I'm not great. I see. Then it is fortunate I came along. I think so too. This feeling gets worse the closer we get to Elam. Whatever is happening to you, I don't like the sound of it. Hey, it's okay. You know I won't let anything take me from you. Ever again. What Kira is experiencing is unusual. But there's no cause for worry. Not yet, at least. Besides, we really shouldn't pass up a chance to figure out what's happening with us. When you came back from Elong, Scourge and I both got this weird feeling, like... We just uncovered a memory. 
It's unclear, but familiar. Like a dream. I tried to help Kira and Scourge clarify the details of what they sensed. To bring their feelings into focus. But my guidance could only do so much. We all agreed that further exploration was necessary. Scourge traveled to a place I am unfamiliar with. There are ruins there that he suspects may have a connection to Darth Null. I wish the big guy was here. I can't remember the last time I did something like this without him. It is for the best. Your paths will join again. Though you must walk alone for now. My hope is that being in the presence of this fortress on Elon will make sense of the strange feelings you are having. And whatever these feelings are, if they have something to do with Darth Null, then maybe they could help you figure out what Malgus was trying to do. Guess we're about to find out, one way or another. The recovery team task force Nova sent should have plenty to tell us. Before we discuss anything else, it would be best if Kira and I familiarized ourselves with this place. We'll meet you at the camp after we look around for a bit. We won't wander off too far. Alright, that's never a good thing. Feeling weird feelings. Yeah, uh, kind of familiar, like we forgot something. Remembering correctly, her and Scourge had been knocked out for like a year on um, Tenebrae's, or, uh, on Tenebrae's ship. So that's not a good sign. Is this where I fought Malgus? It is, because there's the temple right there. All right, well, they set up camp pretty good. Talos. Hello again. I am beyond honored to see your interest in our progress. This has certainly been one of the most intriguing expeditions I've ever participated in, even after all my time in the Reclamation Service. And working with a Jedi historian, I have learned many insights that are broadening my knowledge of Force-related antiquities. What did you find in the ruins? Oh, many remarkable things, but some not as unfamiliar as I expected. Believe it or not, this fortress may not have been as isolated as we first believed. Sifting through the wreckage, I have uncovered several artifacts that bear striking similarities to relics discovered on previous archaeological digs, on worlds far from this one. Once the relics here are thoroughly documented, I will conduct a full investigation into these connections. Perhaps it could provide a map that identifies other locations Amalgus targeted. Oh, I shudder to think what other priceless sites he may have ransacked if you hadn't stopped him. Malgus may be imprisoned, but we can't be complacent. I completely agree. If you are so inclined, I would encourage you to examine some of the relics for yourself. You'll find them around the camp. Someone with your ability should have no trouble recognizing the mystifying sensations I've described. Do let me know if I can be of any further assistance. All right, we are going to go ahead and mess around with Sith artifacts. Or I am, which probably not going to be good. Okay, uh, especially given last time, I was, the last time I was at this plan, I was touching uh, obelisks and they were doing some pretty weird stuff. Yeah, like this one.
And now it makes you wonder, should I be touching them? I'm not really touching them. Again, given the last time I touched anything here, I see those obelisks and they did some pretty bad stuff to me, to my character. All right, observe but not touched. Now let's go see what the team has to say. Hello again, my friend. I'm sure you're eager to hear what we've discovered since the last time you were on Elam. To be honest, it's not looking promising. How so? There wasn't a whole lot to find that wasn't completely demolished. The team here has carefully studied everything that survived Malgus's attack, but we haven't identified the purpose of the device inside the fortress ruins. Is there anything I can do to help figure this out? My hope is that you could provide some wisdom, give us a perspective we hadn't considered yet. Especially since you and Tao saw so much of this area before Malgus attacked. This... this is... Kira. It all makes sense. This feeling I have, why it's so strong. This is from Darth Null's machine. The one Malgus blew up? We think so, yeah. No. She was one of us. A child of the Emperor. Not that I'm doubting you, of all people. But how can this be? I'm at a loss as well. Children of the Emperor? The ones possessed by the old Sith Emperor? Aren't they all gone? It's complicated. The children have been around for centuries, like the servants, the ones we stopped from killing Master Satil. But unlike the servants, we weren't eager recruits. The Sith took people and implanted them with a small piece of the old Emperor's power. The things he could make us do. And we didn't even know what was going on when he did it. Well, most of us didn't. But the Emperor is gone. If he had any control left over the remaining children, that connection has been severed. So why is Malgus so interested in one of the old Emperor's puppets? One who hasn't been around for centuries? There may be someone who could tell us. Sahar Katin. Who is that? She was the Padawan of Master Denom Orr the leader of the expedition team that Malgus attacked. Sahar and Master Orr lived on our colony on Osis. They're... they were... good friends. We've scoured every corner of these ruins. Everyone Master Orr brought to Elam has been accounted for, except Sahar. If she's not here, we should find out where she is. She needs protection. I hope Sahar's okay, wherever she is. Hey, don't worry. We'll find her. Our next priority will be identifying anything that could lead us to Sahar. In the meantime, you should go straight to the source for more information. Speak to Malgus. You think he'll say anything? From what I understand, Malgus has unwavering confidence in his plans, despite his capture. And if he thinks destiny is on his side, who knows what he'll say? Let us hope he offers something useful. I fear that our work has only just begun. Rikon? It's me. It's Sahar.
Wait. Rakan. Please. Stop. What is wrong with you? I risked everything to be here and you won't even listen to me. If I hadn't saved you, who knows what these slavers would have... What in places are you talking about? I'm not a slave. But... But I thought... You left. You don't know anything. This should have been my fight. My chance at greatness. But you stole it from me. Again. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Rakan. For everything. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, and... And I'm sorry for leaving you behind. I regret it. All the time. I would give anything to go back and do things differently. I know I can never completely make it up to you, but... Please. Can I at least try? You're all I have left. Whatever you need, I can help you. I don't need you. But I do know someone who can use you. Follow me. Keep up and keep quiet. Or you're finished. Interesting. I like the cure actually said what I was thinking. But that does make sense now. Why her and Scourge can feel it. Because they're both connected to the Emperor at some point. Some way. Somehow. Okay, where is Malgus? He's completely on the other side. Okay, then I will get on my jetpack and get on over. Yeah, because... I mean, if they had a connection to the Emperor, and Darth Noel has had a connection to the Emperor, I mean, I guess they could feel it somehow. Just hope that that doesn't mean the Emperor's come. Yeah, I'm going to put him down three times. I don't want to have to put him down a fourth time. I have to put down Malgus a fourth time, too. What was it? Um, oh, I forget her name. <laughs> says. says why can't people just stay dead? <laughs> or I remember whenever people just stay dead. There you are. We tried warming him up, but it went about as well as you'd expect. He wasn't particularly forthcoming. Perhaps you'll have better luck. Let's talk about Elam. What were you doing in Darth Null's fortress? Are you really not going to say anything? Give us some privacy. Are you certain? I have everything under control. We'll leave you to it. Don't let your guard down. All I want is to understand your intentions, what you were doing, and why. Why are you so interested in a child of the Emperor? You are hopeless. What did you say? You're a fool. A witless, miserable wretch. 
and your desperate flailing against the inevitable is pathetic. You fail to see what was right before your eyes. Darth Null was no child of the Emperor. She was the first, the mother of them all. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor. She hunted the quarry. She broke them, indoctrinated them. His power, his will, but her methods, her inventions, until the Emperor no longer found her useful. Everything Null had on Elam was destroyed. No one can use those machines anymore. Do you think a Sith like Darth Null had no other designs? Do you think the secrets buried in that fortress will stay hidden forever? This is beyond your control. Everything my plan required to succeed has happened. My vision will come to pass. Nothing you do will stop this. If that's what you need to tell yourself. You failed, Malgus. Whatever it is you started, I'm ending it. Lights. What is he playing at? Yeah, I, again, I don't know where this story is going because I haven't followed it so far. I haven't played it before, like I keep saying. So it's going to be interesting seeing where he's going with all this. Turn the lines up. Okay, good. I don't think I need to sell anything. I need to transfer some credits into to my um, eh, legacy thing. Because eventually these stories are going to run out. And I think I might end up creating a new character. Right after these run out. And then I'm, of course, going to use my legacy to go to fund it, that new character. Alright, personal phase, let's go into this. Darth Null created the children of the Emperor? That's way worse. Malgus must have wanted to create something similar an army of unwitting slaves. He rebelled against the Empire with willing soldiers, and he failed. This time, he wanted to completely control his followers. Maybe. It's not like he'd be the first Sith to try something like that. Did Malgus say anything else? He said that capturing him stopped nothing. That Null's secrets wouldn't stay hidden forever. Sounds like he was bluffing. Scourge and I spent years hunting down the last of the old Emperor's followers. And even we didn't find anything about Null. And since we became aware of her existence, no one in the Force Enclave has found anything. Non-existent records. A ruined fortress. The Emperor obviously got rid of Null and destroyed all of the evidence for good measure. Not everything, apparently. What do you mean? While you were having a chat with Malgus, Master Nostral sent these audio files over. They're from a data pad his team found after you left Elam. Expedition report. Day four. Jedi Master, Deron Orr, Elam Recovery Team Leader. The more we examine the powerful device at the center of these ruins, the more concerned I become. There is a dark energy that radiates from it. One that I recognize all too well. I fear how being so close to it affects Sahar. But I must put my uneasiness aside for now. My focus must be finding and destroying the Holocron Null left here. All of her designs, her plans, could be within. 
I will not stop until I erase every last dark stain left by the children of the Emperor. I must rectify all that we have done. That's not what I was expecting to hear. Today is just full of terrible surprises. Master Orr mentioned a holocron. I didn't see one at the recovery team's camp. Neither did I. Didn't see anything about a holocron on the artifact list the recovery team sent over. So we've got a missing Padawan and a missing holocron. Could be unrelated, but I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. We should focus on locating the holocron before someone else decides to use it. And there's no guarantee that it's in the possession of Master Orr's Padawan. I don't like that she's out there alone. Finding her should be our highest priority. I like this plan. Any major decisions can be made once we actually locate Saha Katine or the Holocron. Fair enough. This has all been... a lot. I think I'll go meditate for a while. While we're on the subject of locating Darth Null's relics, I believe Arkan has an update on the investigation you tasked him with. The search has been... difficult. This world is even more unusual than Sanare could have prepared me for. But I found something. There are ruins here abandoned long ago. What is left of the walls are covered in strange markings that I do not recognize. I tried to go further inside, but an overwhelming force energy keeps me from entering. Whoever left this place did not want it disturbed. Without a closer look, it will be impossible to learn anything about what Darth Null left here. I'm sorry. I feel as though I failed you. We know more now than we did before you left. That's something. If Arkin requires assistance, I am ready to offer it. I will go to these ruins and search them myself. I would appreciate any support that can be spared. But the final decision is yours. If you need help, then it's yours. Sonare will join you soon. Thank you. I will prepare for her arrival, and we'll return to Odessa as soon as we know more. I will not fail you again. That was everything on the agenda. I appreciate all of your hard work, but there's still so much left to do. Let's get back to it. Alright, again, no combat so far. We're almost 30 minutes in. A lot of storytelling, which is normal. It's become the new norm. Which is okay. I like the stories. I like that there is actually storytelling. I mean, that was kind of one of the things I liked about the original Night Steel Republic and Night Steel Republic 2. Where am I going? Where's the camp? Uh, was that. I mean, essentially, they were stories. Yeah, you had some combat, and you'd go to different planets, but it was telling, like, a whole story through it. You know, a story about Revan, a story about the um, exile. Or not exile. How about the Je uh, well, Jedi exile, yeah. But it was telling stories about everybody. Which is what? We can't do everything on our own. We need more people or better equipment. I mean, this one, they even had, you know, they had stories with the, the Jedi Nine, you're going to do this, da da da, and it's like, okay, well, these are good, these are okay stories. I mean, they were good stories. That's okay. It's based, they were good stories. But these even, I like the fact this is so mired in story, though. We get a lot of, why are we doing it? Chate, you answered. Shay, you wouldn't be calling unless it was something big. Right you are. Been a long hunt, but I found the vermin's nest. 
Found an old dirt ball on a planet called Runic. Looks like the traitor got a lot more spineless parasites to rally around her than I planned for. I know my limits. I can't take her down alone. Too many fools standing between her and me. But if you help me cut through the trash, I'll make her face me. We can end this once and for all. It's time for Head of Cold to pay. Ah, so they all. The Holocron, the Pillar, I'll take the. I went the Holocron. It, they're all tying together. Be faster just launches from here, wouldn't it? Yes. So that's Runic. Head of Cole's base of operations? That's right. I also managed to piece together more about her. One thing doesn't track. She moves like a Mando, fights like she's been trained by the best, but I couldn't find a clan affiliation. I'm certain she's one of us, but it's strange. Whatever she is, people follow her. Years back, she ran a small team of outcasts for a while. They became her inner circle. This group was responsible for several raids against both Republic and Imperial interests. She owes nothing to either side. In fact, looking at her targets and the chaos she left behind, it goes much deeper than gathering resources. There has to be a reason behind the attack on the Spirit of Vengeance and the Kadera Banner. Agreed. The only thing I know is that she holds a grudge with two hands. What else did you learn? She's gone to great lengths to hide her location. False trails, dead contacts, and now runic. The planet is in the middle of some kind of electrostatic storm. Messes with communication and navigation. Prime location for a hideout. After the ambush on the Spirit of Vengeance, She's been busy building up her forces, applying pressure, and making the occasional threat to a number of clans. Rumors say her group is making a move soon. You've been at this for months. How did you find her? Her drive to gather more support left a trail. I admit, it was less complicated to track my targets when I was a bounty hunter and not Mandalore the Avenger. Sometimes it was an advantage, but more often, my leads would scatter before I arrived. Now that I have a location, I need help getting close enough to see those blasted horns on her helmet. Make no mistake, she's mine when the time comes. Is that clear? Understood. This is between you and her. Meet me in the hangar. My stealth craft should get us down to the planet without being spotted. But when the time is right, Hedekol will hear my challenge. And see my blade. Hey, she really wants to go after her. One thing I kind of uh, forgot about Shea Visla, or maybe I didn't forget, maybe I missed it before. She's almost as old as Darth Malchus. If not the same age, they're about the same age. And the reason I know that is because they both appeared in the cinematic whenever they took out the uh, Jedi Temple. Okay, where do I have to meet her in the hangar? So I came all the way up just to go all the way back. All right. While I appreciate the story, I hate this running around. And if I hit the button, it would drop me up off there. No more room. Oh wait, I just got to... Mm, it wasn't as far as I came before, because it's just a hangar. 
not only to my ship, which I haven't seen my ship make any appearances so far, any of the cutscenes. Which is understandable. I'm sure they're doing like, oh, we'll just do a generic ship in case we have to swap out characters, of course. We're in position, Mandalore. And for the record, I'm not fond of this plan of yours. I hear you. But I won't risk her bolting if that storm can't hide our fleet. You could be walking into a trap. I'm counting on it. I'll keep an eye on things, Jakaya. See that you do. Mandalore. Good hunting. Well, well, look who it is. I knew I should have packed my spaceship crashing pants. Ras Ordo. Right in the middle of all this, I see. You know me. Hate to disappoint. Load up, everyone. Take off in three. Time to sharpen our blades. Here we go, Runic. Lots of rocks. Big mining venture a long time ago, but nothing since. Probably because of that. Wow, sensors are not pleased. Lots of noise and false echoes. Take your positions. We're going in. The attack on the Spirit of Vengeance, now a base way out here. What changed? A lot of credits. Raids, Clan Harangir's old money coffers, stealing cartel drops, it all adds up. Hedda builds her army with real Mandalorians, but uses Darmanda mercs as blaster fodder. They're perfect for her. No loyalty to anything. Some of them live up to the name, others are just happy to take the credits. Makes sense. I'm betting half their troops don't even know what Darmanda means. Okay, we're close. I know they have a base down here, but I had to back off before I could pinpoint it. Hang on! Blast! That was a probe droid! Everyone good? We're fine. We need to track it down, fast. Wait, give me a sec. Okay, there. Take this data spike. This signal is a little weird, but it should get the droids working for us. Ras, I'm expecting some reinforcements, so keep an eye out. Understood. And for the record, I prefer watching a crash landing over being in a crash landing. Everybody stay off comms starting now. That storm's giving us some cover, but we don't know who's listening. Alright, so now the question from Runic. I am 40 minutes in. Do I want to continue? Because as soon as I leave this, I believe there's going to be a lot more stuff going on out here. There's shuttle, elevator... 
Phantom Bunker. Yeah, I knew there was a probe as soon as I seen it coming in. You know what? I think I'm actually I'm gonna stop here for today. So at least we've gotten here. Submission. Okay, I don't need that one. Again, they keep giving me planetary stuff, and I'm like, no, I don't need them right now. I'm okay working with what I got for now, just in the main storyline. Yeah, okay. All right, I will go ahead and stop for today. So, as always, thank you for watching. And maybe I'll be on tomorrow. Maybe I'll be on later today. I don't know. I'm doing this kind of early, early-ish. But I got stuff else to do today, so maybe I'll be on later. Maybe I'll be on tomorrow. If you do videos one day, that'd be awesome. I said, thank you again.